Explain. Uh, can, can you explain what a blocking rehearsal is for people? Sure. Who don't you go know? on set. Right. Right. So you go to you're going to you know shoot your scene, and uh, you you know you're ambitious enough that you want to have multiple. You know you're going to have uh, establishing shots. You may move your characters around the room a little bit. Uh, you'll have shot reversal. Some things that are going to look like coverage, but some things that are not. So you have to figure that all out. So you go into the location and with your actors, and you basically start to do the scene. But it's it's a rehearsal. There's no shooting. You're not at that point. And you might take an hour. You might take 45 minutes in the morning to go. So everybody's talking. So the block where you get you're sitting there with the DP, and you know now if you're starting with really no idea, and you're and you're more of an actor's director. Uh, you, you should have had some conversations with your DP and looked at some movies and things, but let's say you're pretty raw on that first day or third day, whatever it is. And uh, you're going to basically, uh, you know, walk through the scene with the actors and then say, well, could you go here? And they're going to say whether, well, uh, I, I don't feel comfortable. Why would I go there? Well, uh, let's find a reason. And then you work it out with the di through the dialogue with the intention of whatever that actor is supposed to be doing in the scene. Um, and you, you're asking them to do things sometimes that is uh, extra work for them. But, and by that, for, and I'm talking now about an actor, say so they don't like to hit their marks, uh, having to move around the set, and any complex choreography is a <clears throat> distraction to the actor. So um, those are things you have to learn to do, but that's what a blocking uh, a rehearsal is. You don't know where they're gonna stand, sit, when they're gonna get up, when they're gonna sit down. Well, if they're sitting at a table, for the whole time, that's easy. But what happens when they're not and you want to use the room more? Mm -hmm. So that would be that. And then that also includes walking through that with the with the DP. So the DP is saying, okay, we can do that. And I could move the camera. Well, how much extra time is it going to take? Well, we got to move the furniture here and relight this a little bit. And 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 so you got them and the and the uh, line producer and your production manager and your and a and your AD and you're conferring on whether or not it's such a great idea to do the dolly shot. <laughs> or the boom shot and how much you're willing to give up. If you do that, you may lose this at the end of the day. So those are the kind of decisions that are being made during a block rehearsal. But if you storyboarded it first, you eliminate a lot of that. But isn't it isn't it true that directing is basically compromising? That is the biggest thing that directing is. You're compromising constantly because of things and elements that are being thrown at you on a daily, uh, on a minute by minute basis on set. Absolutely. Then that, that's exactly what it is. It's all, everything is a negotiation between the <laughs> actors and your ambition, artistically in a good sense, and then all the other people who are there kind of to make sure you, you know, everybody stays on track, which is the line producer down and the DP. Mm -hmm. And um, much of the time, lighting is 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 the time consuming part. Mm -hmm. uh, even you know, and so that's uh, how fast is your crew, and and what are you willing to do now? With the new tools, you can go back a after the fact and do some cleanup uh, mm -hmm. in lighting that you otherwise couldn't have done. Uh, but that, you know, that's extra expense, and uh, you can't do everything that way. But we're moving in a direction where you can. But right. I mean, you're going to be able to extract you or me right now. You look at us; we'll be able to extract. I mean, it, this is possible now, but it hasn't really been streamlined. And you would be able to get a rough model of your face that moves with your face, and you could track in new lighting. Oh yeah, and 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 DaVinci uh -huh. Resolve uh, has. Right. The, I mean, it's some the facial recognition and the tracking on it is insane. Right. You literally could start pulling out the the bags under yeah. my eyes, and I mean, it, it's pretty insane. But if you don't have that skill set, it is going to yeah. cost money and plenty of it. You know, right. so either put those tools in your toolbox or just light the damn scene properly. <laughs>